I'm sorry, judo scarf. Okay, there we go, right? So you end up with a couple of things. One, you get the guy who's really, really excited, right? And he throws his hips through, right? And he's hugging your head, okay? The exact same thing we did before can work here. My hand goes to his shoulder, I shrimp out, and I sit up. And now I got the neck, I got the right. okay? So again, just like with our scarf before, we don't want our hips way up by the head, okay? When he wraps around, he's actually trying to keep his hips underneath my shoulder, by, like lower towards my hip. Not way down by my hip like last time, okay? But he still wants his hips underneath my shoulder and not out above my shoulder here. We don't want to get, he doesn't want to get us into that north-south type situation. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So he's going to keep his hips there so I can't sit up into him. Now he can use his leg, as you can see, to drive back into me and keep me on my back. All right? Second thing that we run into here. Okay, is it him trying to attack this arm, right? Getting it in between his legs, he starts squeezing, he can get like in a little Americana thing. That's why I want to protect my arms, okay? Wrap them around his body, and when I'm flat on my back, all of his weight is on one side of my ribs. I was pointing to these ribs, but really it's on the other side of me, right? So to take that pressure off, I'm gonna get a little shrimp, get onto my side, okay? He's still on me, but I'm not flat, okay? Now it's harder for his sweat to fall into my mouth, right? Now I'm gonna chase after him, in order to get tight, okay? I want to get myself attached to him. Does that make sense? By doing that, my body's now pointed the same way as him. It's harder for him to put weight into my ribs, okay? We were just talking about how to add weight as the guy on top, right? He's gonna lock his hand. Usually you'll either lock your hands, wrap around my elbow here, or he'll grab the inside of his leg. That's the worst one in my opinion, okay? And now he just turns his hips to the sky, yup, and sits through, bends me around his ribs. Okay, that's what I want to avoid. So as he does that, then I turn up into it. All right, now I'm locking my own shoulder. I gotta be aware of that. I will add pressure to my shoulder. So if he starts trying to pull up on my elbow, then I gotta be able to get myself back to him. And by staying on my side, I can protect against a lot of, it's still not a comfortable position, trust me. It, it just sucks, okay? So last piece here, once I get that knee under his butt, I'm gonna lock onto his body. I'm gonna actually bridge into him here to get his head down about even with his butt. I'm gonna get my hips underneath him. And now I'm gonna keep my feet on the ground. I'm gonna shrimp underneath him. Right? So I get him loaded up on top of me, shrimp underneath, okay? And dump him to the other side. What I do not wanna see is this. All right? This is the number one way I've seen people dislocate their own ribs, okay? Because they hold their breath and they torque as hard as they can, all right? We're not designed to work that way. Don't work harder than you have, especially if he's 350 pounds like Dan is, right? Because he, you know, he fought, you know, the, the Rona he just went crazy on him. I want to load him up and be able to move slowly. Okay? So there's nothing he can do about it. I don't want him to be able to just flatten himself and pin me down. Cool? So I'm getting my knee under his butt. I'm getting his head to the ground. Right? So that I can get underneath him. And then I just walk. Keep my feet on the ground. And walk. All the way around the walk around the clock. Questions? You're getting his head to the ground by bridging, and then you're walking. Correct. I'm pushing into him. Right? Because if I just bridge straight up, if I bridge straight up and he turns his hips over to go to mount, I'm bridging into him, he's just going to switch his head and go over to mount. Right? So if I, my feet are glued on the ground, my hips are up in the air, I can't stop that. I have nothing to stop him from stepping over my body. Right? So the harder I throw him and turn his hips so they're not pointed that way, they're pointed down, the easier it is for him to clear me. Right? So I want to stay attached to him. Right? Get his head to the ground. Now I get underneath. Here, my knee's behind his knees. So that if he tries to go over in the mount, I can keep my knee behind him. Then I turn. Over the top. Okay. Other questions? All right. Get tight to him. Protect yourself. All right. 